I get asked all the time about what I use to make my layers of fabric and paper collage. And I just wanted to do a demo to show you very simply what I'm doing to make the fabric into a substrate, to turn your fabric or fiber into something that's paintable. So I'm going to do a flower, a daisy. I've got a few pieces of fabric I grabbed from an old cantha quilt. Another piece here, some silk from a sari, an old piece of vintage wallpaper, uh, some wrap from flowers, some paper, and a piece of a, a waxed deli paper, and a fabric ribbon. So I'm going to start by just cutting them into petals. And you can be as particular as you want with this part and make them all the same, or you can just be kind of free and let them all be different. I'm more of the be free and let them be different kind of person, but I just want to show you how you can take all these different fabrics and textures and papers, turn them into a surface that you can treat. The same for all of them. I feel like I probably got enough fabric at this point, so I'm not going to cut the other piece of silk sari. I'm going to show you how to take all these different types of fiber and paper and make them into a surface that is uniform for all of them, that you can paint on, that you can use markers on, you can draw on. I'm not sure if I want it in the middle. I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do with this piece of art, so I may shift it off to the side. I'm going to take some of the bigger ones and put them on first. I'm going to use a heavy medium. It doesn't need to be a gloss. It just happens to be what I have. Normally I would use a semi-gloss, but the key is that it's a heavy, heavy gel medium. I'm not going to be really careful about how much I'm using. I want to use a lot. I want to make sure it sticks and doesn't move. And I want to make sure that the top surface is covered too, so that I've got this. So I've got the surface consistently covered with the medium as well. And the next step is I'm going to take a brayer and just a piece of a uh, towel I'm just rolling across flattens it down and also takes off any excess medium. I'm going to go ahead and put a few petals down before I use the brayer again. The thicker fabrics like the the woven one I just put on needed a lot more medium than this piece of silk sari will. So this is a bit wrinkled and I don't mind that at all. I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to leave that to dry for a few minutes. The medium's completely dried and I'm going to go on to the next step. So I put some white acrylic paint down and I'm using my brayer to roll across, roll across the different fabrics and papers and, and just demonstrating how you can treat them at this point like a substrate. They can be painted on just like you would any other surface. I've chosen a yellow okra and I've added some water to it to make it more translucent. I'm just going to put it across all the surfaces.
I'm going to doodle on the petals of the flower with medium and fine tip and extra fine tip art markers just to demonstrate how you can draw on these fabrics and fibers like any other substrate. The final demonstration I'm going to do is adding more fiber. So treating the base layer as a substrate and adding on an additional embellishment. 